Israel unleashed a daring experiment, flooding the Negev desert with billions of gallons of desalinated water, and the results defy belief. A barren wasteland now blooms with forests, farms, and fish ponds. Since 1964, Israel's national water carrier has pumped 449 million gallons daily from the Sea of Galilee and Mediterranean desalination plants into the arid south, covering 5,000 square miles, over half the nation's land. What emerged is a green revolution. Four million trees, thriving crops and solar fields, stunning scientists and reshaping global views on desert reclamation. The Negev, where summer temperatures hit 122 degrees Fahrenheit and annual rainfall barely reaches two inches, was once a sandy, rocky void. David Ben-Gurion, Israel's visionary founder, dreamed of taming it. The national water carrier, an 80-mile network of pipes, tunnels, and reservoirs, delivers desalinated water with just 3% loss, compared to 50% in Bulgaria. Five coastal plants, like Sorek, produce 39 billion gallons yearly, replenishing the Sea of Galilee and irrigating the desert. Underground aquifers, yielding 95 billion gallons annually, and recycled wastewater. 87% of sewage reborn feed this miracle. The transformation is staggering. The Yatir Forest, spanning 11 square miles, boasts 4 million Aleppo pines, halting desert spread and trapping carbon as effectively as wetter forests. NASA's FluxNet studies its CO2 absorption, while the Arava Institute grows dates and grapes nearby. Drip irrigation, pioneered in Israel, delivers water directly to roots, cutting usage by 30% and enabling cotton, olives, and sunflowers to thrive, yields like seven tons of wheat per 2.4 acres dwarf global averages. Fish farms, using geothermal springs at 98 degrees Fahrenheit, produce 2,000 tons of barramundi yearly, their nutrient-rich water irrigating olive groves. This isn't just agriculture, it's a global game changer. Israel's desert farms generate 40% of its $5 billion agricultural output, outpacing larger nations like Pakistan, the Ashalim solar plant with its 853-foot tower and 50,600 heliostats powers 120,000 homes, fueling farms and cities. Yet, risks loom. 10% of Yatir's trees died in recent droughts and overpumping aquifers. 158 billion gallons in 2023 threatens saltwater intrusion. 